A body starts sliding on a rough horizontal surface with a speed of 10 meter per second. It means a body is sliding on a rough horizontal surface. The surface is rough, it means the friction would be there. And with a speed of 10 meter per second, means the final speed is 10 meter per second. If the coefficient of friction is 0.2, means the friction would be there, so the coefficient of friction has some value. Find the distance travelled by a body before coming to rest. So you have to find out the distance travelled by a body before coming to rest, which means initial velocity is zero. And the approximate value of gravity or the acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second square. As you know that when a body is sliding down the horizontal surface, so in this case the body is moving downward with a Newtonian acceleration. But uh, in order to prevent this acceleration, the frictional force would be there. So the above, con so that this, so this condition would be satisfied. That F is equal to mu into R. The force is equal to mu into R. F is the Newtonian force. Mu is the coefficient of friction, and R is the normal reaction. As you know that the normal reaction is alw always exerted by the surface, which is always equal to the weight. So R is always equal to the weight. That is mg. And F is the Newtonian force, which is always equal to ma. So this m will get cancelled by this m, so the answer remains A equal to mu g. You know that mu is the coefficient of friction, that is 0.2, and g is the gravity, that is 10. So when you convert 0.2 into 2 upon 10, then 10 will get cancelled this 10, and the answer will remain 2. So acceleration will remain 2 meter per second square. So you have find out the acceleration, but your ultimate aim was to find out the distance traveled by a body before coming to rest. So you have to find out the distance, that is d or s. So by using third equation of motion, that is 2s equal to vf square minus vi square. So in this case you are observing that you have calculated the acceleration. And the final velocity is 10 meter per second square. And the initial velocity is 0. So it means 10 square means 100. And when you put acceleration there, it becomes 2 into 2, and this is the S which you have to find out. So it becomes 2 into 2, it becomes 4, and 10 square means 100. So when this 4, which is multiplying by S, is divided by 100, 4 1s are 4, 4 25s are 100. So S is equal to 25 meter. So S is equal to 25 meter is the distance travelled by a body before coming to rest. So this type of numerical came in every entity test of DAO, SMC, KMDC, NAD, NUMC, UHS and others. So stay watching educationisthub.com.